Hey everyone, this is Brett DeWall with White Oak Security here. Uh, today I'm going to be walking through one of the vulnerabilities that we recently discovered in the Logical Doc software. Uh, if you come out to one of our blog posts here that was recently posted, you can see that uh, Michael Rand and I had a couple different vulnerabilities that we discovered in the Logical Doc uh, software. Uh, specifically for just today's video, I'm going to be walking through uh, the first one here, which is the XML external entity injection that we discovered. Um, in and in itself, you know, if you wanted to download and take a look, uh, you can actually go out to the Logical Doc website there. They do have an option to download like virtual appliances. Uh, so specifically, these exploits were uh, against the 8.8.2. Uh, and earlier releases, the, the latest one, the 8.8.3, actually fixes it. Uh, we've gone ahead and kind of worked with the vendor here to remediate the issue there. Um, so I've gone ahead and got this virtual appliance actually downloaded and running currently. Uh, we can see it here, um, just running uh, uh, an IF config here just to get the IP address of the machine. You can see that the user account is logical doc here. Um, scrolling over, we can actually see the application interface. So obviously this is uh, an account that's logged into the application. So I think if we look at our profile here, we're currently logged in as admin. However, this vulnerability does not require any sort of uh, authentication tokens or anything like that. So it's a true, um, essentially unauthenticated uh, XXE. Uh, and kind of with this vulnerability, we're able to pull uh, sensitive files from, in this case, the virtual appliance that's running the Logical Doc software. Uh, you know, if you do refer back to the blog post, we do show this HTTP request here. So this is in Burp Suite. So I've gone ahead and actually opened up Burp Suite here. Uh, you can see, we'll just go ahead and just remove any sort of cookie uh, from our requests or anything else. Um, we're, we're making the, the XXE request here and we're trying to retrieve the contents of this context.properties file and that actually contains some sensitive information on, of, on the configuration of the application. Uh, so if we go ahead and just send this request here, uh, we can see fairly quick response here. Uh, but the big thing here is uh, you do get the, the admin password here. Um, this is just a, an MD5 of the actual password. Uh, so you could take this out and you could use, you know, any sort of online cracker or offline cracker like Hashcat or anything like that. Um, otherwise, you know, if this was running on a Windows system, you could change the, the file to uh, different files that might be on the system or otherwise even on this uh, local machine as well. You could change it to other files uh, to receive some of those contents here. So in this context.properties, you know, we get various information about the configuration of the application. Um, and really kind of how it's all configured on that virtual appliance there. Um, so the big thing to note is this was unauthenticated. Uh, we're able to retrieve some of these um, uh, sensitive information or the, uh, even like the password hashes here. Uh, so if you were to go ahead and actually uh, take this password and decrypt it and actually get uh, um, the clear text password, you could then log in just like I am into the appliance here. Uh, and in some of the other later videos that I'm going to be doing on this little uh, logical doc series here, we'll show once you have authenticated access, some additional items that you can do within the appliance as well. So thank you for everyone for uh, tuning in today. I hope uh, this was informative on just uh, hacking the logical doc software. Thank you.